We often hear that contact tracing is one of the keys to slowing the spread of COVID-19 and returning to a more normal way of life. But what exactly is contact tracing and how is it done? Well, here to tell us what we need to know is an infectious disease epidemiologist at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, Dr. Emily Gurley. So Dr. Gurley, thank you for being with us. And you can answer that first question. What is contact tracing and how does it work? Well, it's nice to be here, and I'm happy to talk about contact tracing because I think it is one of the best ways for us to reopen parts of our society with some confidence uh, that transmission isn't going to get out of control. So the virus relies on us and our connections to each other to propagate, to spread. And contact tracing practically is reaching out to people, calling people who are infected with COVID-19 or who have been exposed and could also be infectious and helping to let them know and give them um, the advice and the tools that they need so that they can change their behavior and not transmit to anyone else. So asking people to change what they do to, uh, to stop the spread. And it's important to note, this is not a new weapon here in battling a virus. Contact tracing has been used in the past successfully. Contact tracing is used every day for other diseases and outbreaks. So you're absolutely right. It's nothing new. It's been around as long as we've had a concept of public health. And so what should someone expect if they get that call from a contact tracer? So if you get a call, there are two reasons. First, you've had a test for COVID-19 and it's positive. Um, so you should be expecting a call. So public health is gonna reach out to you and find out how you're doing, make sure you have what you need, including access to medical care. They're gonna to talk to you about what you're doing to stop the spread to other people and what you need to do um, to make sure you don't infect anyone else. Uh, then they're going to find out who you may have infected, um, who, who you uh, had contact with while you've been infectious. Um, and it's important to find those people because they've been exposed and they could also be infectious. As you probably know, people can be infected with this uh, virus uh, and never know it. They may never develop signs or symptoms. And again, they're going to help you come up with a strategy to limit your contact with people you live with and make sure that you're not having any other contact with people that could give this virus more opportunities to spread in the community. I, um, but it's important to remember, like they're never going to ask you about your social security number or right. your credit card information. They're calling to help you. Because I was literally about to ask you about fraud because, you know, a lot of people have taken this tragedy and, and used it to try and get information, personal information from people. So that's important for people to remember. You are the lead instructor for this online contact tracing course. What are your tracers learning? So this is a course that consists of online lectures and videos, and it's designed to take people who have may have no background in public health or infectious diseases at all and give them all the basics they need to know uh, to be able to go on to a more um, in-depth, on-the-job training as a contact tracer. Um, so it's available to anyone. It's free. Uh, people are taking it just because they want to know what contact tracing is and more about the disease. So you're welcome to do that. Um, and, but a lot of people are taking it because they want to become contact tracers. And I would encourage them to reach out to their local health departments and see what initiatives there are to ramp up contact tracing there. Yeah, and hopefully it will lead us to a path of a new normal. Dr. Emily Gurley, thank you so much for your time and your explanation, your expertise. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.